Hi everyone, I am Basil Ilamra, tutor for financial reporting at Capens School of Accountancy and Management, a platinum approved learning partner. Most of you might be aware that there has been a small change in IFRS 15. The change was supposed to happen at a later stage, but ACC has clarified that they are going to expect you to answer in this method. What are the change? The change is in IFRS 15, revenue from contract with customers. And the only change, there's only small change and the change is with respect to contract asset. How to find out contract asset. As per the old method, contract asset will be calculated like this. Cost to date plus a recognized profit minus amount invoiced. But as per the new method, you have to calculate contract asset like this. Revenue recognized, less amount invoiced, you will get contract asset or liability. If it is in positive figure, it's a contract asset. If it is a negative, it's a contract liability. Now, are there any other changes in IFRS 15? No. That means revenue recognition, still old method, total revenue into percentage of completion minus revenue recognized in previous year. It is same, no change. How to find out cost? Same as before, total cost into percentage of completion minus cost recognized in previous years, no change. How to recognize profit? Two ways, one revenue minus cost of sales or estimated profit into percentage of completion minus profit recognized in previous years, no change. What about estimated profit? It is total revenue minus total cost, no change. So there is no change in revenue recognized, cost to be recognized or profit to be recognized. The only change is with respect to contract asset. So remember this format, new format, revenue recognized. You already know how to calculate or how to find out revenue recognized. It is total revenue in the percentage of completion minus revenue recognized in previous year minus amount in was nothing new but the only method has been changed. So what now we are going to do is that we are going to practice two questions under the new method, how to calculate contract asset or liability. And these two questions has been picked from your BPP revision kit, the latest BPP revision kit. So kindly read the question. Caraway company entered into a contract on 1st January 2065 to build a factory. The total contract price was 2.8 million and Chia company obtains control of the factory as the asset is constructed. Caraway as an enforceable right for payment of completion of factory. The contract states that performance obligations are measured according to certificates issued by the surveyor. And the question says that at 31st December X5, the contract was certified by the surveyor as 35% complete. Cost to complete are estimated at 1.4 million and dollar 800,000 has been invoiced to the customer, not at paid. Now they're asking us to can find out whether it is a contract asset or contract liability and what is the amount. So straight away, let's calculate it under new method. So contract asset, how to calculate this contract asset. All you have to do is that revenue recognized minus amount invoiced. And amount invoiced is very clearly given 800,000 has been invoiced. Now, all we have to find out is revenue recognized. How will you find out revenue to be recognized? Total revenue into percentage of completion. Total revenue into percentage of completion minus revenue recognized in previous years. There is no previous year in this question because the contract was entered on 1st January X5 and they're asking what is the figure as on 31st December X5. That means contract was started in the current year. So basically there is no previous year. So how will you calculate that revenue to be recognized? Total revenue, that is total contract prices 2.8 million into percentage of completion is 35 percentage minus since there is no previous year minus zero you get 980,000 
So revenue recognized is 980,000 minus amount in O is 800,000. Since it is positive figure, we can say it's a contract asset. That's it, as simple as that. To get an idea of the new method, revenue recognized minus amount in O is contract asset or liability. Let's do one more question to make sure you are confident on that. So going to the next question, again, this is also a BPP revision kit question. And again, once again, it's a latest BPP revision kit question. So from September, 2021 onwards, if you have an old version, you will have almost similar kind of question, but it is slightly different. So make sure you have the latest revision kit, September, 2021 onwards. So question number 22, the company recognized revenue on the basis of cost incurred to date as a proportion of total expected cost. So in question number two, the question is, says that percentage of completion, the company recognized revenue on the basis of cost incurred to date as proportion of expected. That means percentage of completion is cost to date divided by total cost. So don't take revenue recognized, it's based on cost to date divided by total cost. Okay, now what are they saying? What are the further information given in the question? The question further gives that following details apply to a contract in proportion. So total contract revenue 120,000, cost to date 48,000, estimated cost to complete 48,000, amount in who is 50,100. And the question is asking you, what amount should be recognized in SOFP at 31st December X5 as a contract asset? So let's calculate the percentage of completion first. Cost to date is given 48,000. And as usual, as you might have already learned in the previous method also, how will you calculate total cost? No change. Total cost is cost to date plus estimated cost to complete, estimated cost to complete. So basically cost to date is given 48,000 and estimated cost to completion is also given 48,000. So basically total cost is 96,000. So 48,000 divided by 96,000 into 100, that is equal to 50 percentage. So we just got percentage of completion, but we are not interested in that. The examiner is asking us to calculate contract asset as per the new method. So how do you calculate contract asset as per the new method? So as per the new method, contract asset will be calculated like this, asset or liability. It's revenue recognized, minus amount invoiced. So amount invoiced is directly given in the question to be 50,400. How will you calculate revenue recognized? It's total revenue into percentage of completion minus revenue recognized in previous years. Is there a previous year? Absolutely no, because basically the company started in this year. So how will you calculate total, sorry, revenue recognized? It's total revenue 120,000 into percentage of completion 50 minus since there is no previous year minus zero. So basically 60,000 minus 50,900 is 9,600. Since it is positive, we can say that it's contract asset option A. That's all. So all you have to remember is that as per the new method, everything remains the same except contract asset or contract liability. The only change is with respect to contract asset or contract liability. And only thing that you have to remember is that how to find it out. It's revenue recognized minus amount invoice. And revenue recognized, you already know there is no change. It's total revenue into percentage of completion minus revenue recognized in previous year.
and percentage of completion mostly the question will either give you a percentage of completion like question number one which they gave 35 percentage or they will tell you how to calculate like question number two cost incurred to date as total expected cost it's same as previous minus amount invoiced so all you have to remember is that remember the new format all everything remains the same so thank you everyone all the best for your upcoming acc examination to know more about my classes you can follow me at learn with basin Niramra in my instagram channel or you can also follow cap and e learn thank you all the best